first and foremost, Russell Wilson is an upgrade for the Steelers. He's better than Kenny Pickett. He's better than Mason Rudolph. He was better than Mitch Trubisky. Um, that's number one. So the Steelers at least have a better quarterback in 2024 than they did in 2023. With that said, I don't think the Steelers are a playoff team in 2024. I know they made the playoffs in 2023 with that three-headed monster we just listed in Trubisky, Pickett, and Rudolph leading the way. I don't think, though, in 2024, the Steelers with Russ are a playoff team. First and foremost, at this point in his career, I don't think Russ is anything more than just an average quarterback. That, to me, is his ceiling. I think gone are the days of top five, top 10, top 15. He, to me, is nothing more than average. That is his peak. If you look at how he plays, this is a guy that I just don't think his style at this point of his career translates the way it used to. He is someone who made so much of his hay in Seattle. Running out of the pocket, making defenders miss, pointing at his guys to go downfield, and chucking a, by the way, beautiful moon ball, but chucking a moon ball 40 yards down the field and making a big play that way. He's not someone who sticks to the script, who, you know, ha- has timing routes and is going to three-step drop and get the ball out. Five-step drop, get the ball out. That's not his style. Like, sit back there, move around, make plays. He held the ball the longest of any quarterback on average in 2023. He is someone, even in the Sean Payton timing offense, who held the ball and wanted to make plays and ran around the pocket. That worked when he was 29, 32. It doesn't work anymore when you're 36. That is who Russ is. I mean, if Sean Payton, who I still think is one of the best offensive minds in the NFL, if Sean Payton can't get him to break that habit, can't get him to play within the system of an offense, there's no saving Russ at that point. You're never going to change the way he is. And so he is going to play the way he plays for the rest of his career. And now when you rely on your scrambling ability, now when you want to just throw the ball deep every single play, at 36 years old, that doesn't work as often. You're not as good. You're not as as able to make defenders miss, buy time, and throw the ball 40 yards on a dime every single play. And so that's what Russ wants to do, and that's what we saw a lot in Denver last year. That offense, despite Russ's numbers being better in 2023 than they were in 2022 or 2021, it still was at times hard to watch that offense run. There was no rhythm to it. There was no timing. It felt like it was a sandlot football. Russ gets the ball, drops back, looks at the rush, leaves the pocket early even when there's no defender in his face, and tries to make a hero play, and it doesn't work. Once in a blue moon, it works. Most of the times, it doesn't. And that style of football in 2024 does not work for us, and that's why I don't think he's going to go to Pittsburgh with a better cast around him compared to what he had in Denver for the last two years. And even you could, you know, the Seattle in Seattle is still pretty good offensively. But at least in the two years he was in Denver, you have better weapons. Pat Fryermuth, George Pickens, Najee Harris, Warren. Like, you have overall better talent offensively than what you had right now, um, or what you had, I should say, back then in Denver, I don't think it's going to matter that much. I don't think right now his ceiling is anything more than an average quarterback. And even though the Steelers got to the playoffs in 2023, with, I mean, you could argue below average, definitely below average quarterback play. I mean, you look at the three quarterbacks, again, Trubisky, Pickett, Rudolph, they combined in 2023 to throw... 13 inter- uh, thirteen touchdowns, three quarterbacks over 17 games combined to throw 13 touchdowns to nine interceptions. That is mediocre, to, to put it nicely. So even though you had mediocre, mediocre quarterback play in 2023, now I think the most you can get is average quarterback play in 2024 The reason why I don't think the Steelers are a playoff team in 2024 is because the rest of the AFC is going to be better. Look at their own division. 
Joe Burrow, I'm going to say he's going to be healthy. Knock on wood, he's going to stay healthy. And if he's healthy, the Bengals are absolutely a playoff team. Even with Russ, the Steelers are the worst team in their division. Ravens are better. Browns are better. Bengals are better. Steelers are the worst team in their division. And even though I don't think the Jets are a playoff team with Aaron Rodgers, I think the Jets are going to be a better team than the Steelers next year. The Chargers are an interesting and fun team now with Jim Harbaugh in L.A. with Justin Herbert. Look at the AFC South. The Jaguars, I expect them to bounce back and make the playoffs after what was a very disappointing 2023, uh, 2023 season. I don't, Even though there's questions about Trevor Lawrence, I don't think he'll follow up 2023 with another stinker in 2024. I think the Jaguars will be better. The Texans are going nowhere. The Colts get Anthony Richardson back, and if they can keep him healthy, there's a good chance they're in the playoff mix. The AFC is getting better in 2024. And so I don't think the Steelers got that much better where you could say they're a playoff team despite the fact they made it last year. They benefited more than anything else from a down AFC where the Dolphins were not as good as we thought, where the Bills for two-thirds of the season were not as good as we thought. Obviously, the Jets season was over four plays into with Aaron Rodgers going down. Joe Burrow ended his injury, ended any hope of the Bengals making a playoff run. The Chargers won five games with Justin Herbert. I don't think they'll be that bad next year. The AFC around the Steelers is getting better and healthier. Even though you're getting now Russell Wilson, who again, is an upgrade at quarterback. He's a lot better than any of those three quarterbacks the Steelers had in 2024. He's still, to me, not good enough to get you to the playoffs. I think what he does is make your season interesting if you're the Steelers. If you have Kenny Pickett, you already know what you have. Garbage. Mason and Rudolph, same thing. At least now if you're a Steelers fan, there's intrigue. There's hope. You could talk yourself into Russell Wilson maybe, you know, turning the clock back and looking like Seattle Russ with a better running back, with better receivers. Even if Deontay Johnson is traded, you still have some better receivers um, in Pittsburgh than what you did in in Denver the last two years. You at least have intrigue right now if you're the Steelers of how this season is going to play out. But I think nothing more than that. I don't think you have real playoff hopes. I don't think right now you have any sort of hopes of winning a playoff game. You just have intrigue of what is Russ going to be. I think what we're going to see in 2024 is nothing more than average. Russ is not going to change who he is. He may have a slightly better production just because of the better talent around him, but I don't think it's going to equate to a playoff run for Pittsburgh. The Steelers, to me, are intriguing in 2024. They're more exciting than they are with Kenny Pickett or Mason Rudolph, but nothing more than that. 